do you ever look at your indicators and think they're just not indicatory enough? No, me neither. <laughs> but scrolling indicators do look cool. And that's what we're doing today. We've got a pair off of eBay. We're going to see how easy it is to fit them and uh, see how much we can break along the way. As always, guys, if you're not already, please think about subscribing by hitting that button down the bottom and stay tuned. So here we have the replacement scrolling indicators. Got them off eBay. They're about, I think they're about 20 pounds. You can get them direct from China for about 17 pounds, but for, for the sake of not having to wait six weeks for them, paying an extra three pounds, I got them from eBay. So let's have a look at what you get in the box. So you get your two scrolling indicators. They're plug and play. They come with a nice protective film on. Probably the most satisfying part about anything, peeling that off, I'm sure you'll agree. So you get two of those. You get a pry tool for removing what I assume would be your wing mirror glass and the mirror cap. And a Torx bit for removing the screws that hold this in. Now from looking at this, it looks like there is only two bolts. So let's get out to the car, let's get the mirror glass off, let's get the cap off, and let's see how easy these are to fit. So I always find the easiest way to remove the mirror glass is by pointing the mirrors as far, so let's, let's do this, as far up and to one side as you can, so you can give yourself the best access. Let's see which way. I'm actually going to point them out so I can get under that bottom left corner there. So that's as far as they will go there. Let me move the other side. There we go. And what I'm trying to do is just give myself the best access I can to, to one corner. What I don't want to do, I don't want to break this glass because it will be expensive to replace. You know it. It's Jaguar. It's going to be just horrendously marked up for no good reason. So let's, um, let's gently prise that glass off gain access to the mirror cap so we can take that off um, and just go gently and see how we can get on. So I've got the pry tool that came in the box and what I want to do is just gently, very gently, try and take the glass off of the, there we go, the base that holds it in. Always good to take your time. There we go. And what you've got is two cables on the back, depending on your model. If you've got blind spot, I do not. We're gonna fix that this year. But remember which way round they go. Mine was purple on top, and that's for the heated or the demisted element of your, of your mirror glass. So now the glass is out of the way. What it's done is it's exposed the tabs that hold on the the mirror housing so I'm just going to gently prise those tabs up and get this casing off so I can expose the indicator and there we have it we have the exposed indicator here and the two screws and the plug so let's make a start on undoing these get the plug off and we can offer the replacement up and make sure everything lines up as it should So we've got the old and the new. The new one's tinted, black. You can see the plastic itself is actually tinted. But other than that, they are identical. These are handed, so make sure you pick up the correct one for the corresponding side you're working on. So let's get that bolted on. Let's give it a test and see how it looks.
So I've not put the cap back on. I want to make sure everything works properly before I start covering all these bolts back up. But let's jump in, put the indicators on, or hazards, and let's see what it looks like. You're seeing this before me, so I don't even know what this looks like yet. I've got to have a look. Result, they look smart. Let's get it all back together. Remember, purple was on top. Don't know if it matters, don't know if they're polarity sensitive, but always good to put things back the way they came off. Boom, one mirror done. Let's get over to the other side. Now I'm hoping, as the same with everything, once you've done one side, the second side goes a lot quicker because you've already got an idea about what you're doing. So let's see how quickly we can do this, actually. Now, interestingly, these have actually corroded to the pegs here. I think rather than upset everything, I'm just going to leave that in place. I'm going to get a cloth to put over here, protect the paint, rather than damage the um, terminals on the mirror. What did I say? I ruined it. I jinxed it. <laughs> So I've been taking the blue film off before I bolt them in because I don't want it to get trapped underneath when I bolt in the new indicator. So, and it just, just slips in, he says. There you go. Just pops in there, get the plug out of the way and that just drops in and you've got your two bolts there and your plug. Dead easy. Let's get those bolts back in. Always do the first one up finger tight so you can make sure everything's aligned properly. Get both your bolts in and then go back and tighten them up properly. Done and on, let's test them. That looks really smart, I'm happy with those. Let's get the cover back on, let's get the glass back in, and then that's job done. And then just pop the mirror back in. I haven't taken these terminals off, as I said a moment ago. But that should just click back in, perfect. And now, because we've got the memory function, we should just be able to, there we go. Everything will move back to where it was. Both the mirrors are recentering themselves. Job done.
I'll tell you what, it was a good job I replaced these actually. I don't know if the camera will pick up on this, but can you see those those cracks appearing at the end there? It's exactly the same as what happened with the headlights. If you haven't already, do check out the video where I've replaced the headlights because the plastic or the, the lens was all crazing up and cracking. So I don't know what Jaguar are using for their plastic, but it looks like it's just not really up to the task. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll put that down as preventative maintenance rather than a completely unnecessary modification. <laughs> so there we have it, scrolling indicators. I think the black looks a lot smarter. It ties it into this bit down the bottom here. And it's, it's, you know, with the black pack on the car, it, that was a bit out of place looking silver. So yeah, really pleased with those. Um, it, I took a bit of a gamble. On the listing, it said it fitted numerous cars, but the F-Type wasn't one of them. Um, it fitted the F-Pace, which we're gonna have a go at in a minute, uh, but the F-Type just wasn't listed as a compatible car. So I thought, stuff it, we'll have a go. It's 20 quid if it doesn't fit. So really pleased with that. Thanks for watching guys, as always, if you've not already hit that subscribe button, please do give it a click and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.